Here's a demo program that demonstrates how a sequential search works in C++. In this program, we have an array named numbers. The length of the array is 5. And just for uh, demonstration purposes, let's pretend that the numbers that are eventually inputted into this array are 23, 45, 11, 87, and 49. So the 23 is in position 0 of the array. The 45 is in position 1, and so on. Since we've studied that index positions are uh, begin at 0 with arrays. As this program winds up, this first for loop stores random numbers in the array. Um, in this case, because of the use of mod 50 plus 1 after the built-in rand function, it generates, the computer generates random numbers between 1 and 50 and stores them into the positions of the array numbers. I'm going to comment out that line of code so that we're testing this program with the numbers that I uh, uh, imagined right there. Then the program asks me to, uh, to type a number to search for. So let's pretend that we search for the number 11. I type 11 in, and it's, that value is stored in the variable named key. And another for loop iterates over and over again. And this for loop traverses the array from position 0, and it checks to see if the number stored in position 0, numbers i would be 0 at this point, we're checking to see if numbers i is equal to key which is 11. Well, I see that 23 is not equal to 11. So this if statement will be false, and therefore we ignore the body of that if statement, and the for loop iterates one more time. i plus pluses, and therefore i is now 1, and we check to see if numbers i, which is 45, the number 45 is stored in numbers i. We check to see if 45 is equal to key, which is 11, and it's not. 45 is not 11. So yet again, we skip the if statement, and we cycle back up around the for loop, and we add 1 to i. i is now 2, by the way. And we check to see if numbers square brackets i is equal to key. At this point, it is 11 is equal to 11. So we see out, we display that we found the number in position i. i is currently 2, and that is where we found the 11, which was numbers i. Uh, the 11 was represented as numbers i. The program uh, stores the, vari the value true in the Boolean flag variable named found. It was false, but now it's equal to true. The for loop breaks, and the rest of the program executes. And because found is currently true, the not of a true is a false, and we, therefore we do not see out you didn't find it. This program ends up printing out that we found the number we were looking for, and it tells us what position that 11 was in. It was in position 2. Let's try it. Let's hardwire the uh, array so that uh, those numbers are stored there rather than random numbers. And we see that the program prints out a 2 if we're looking for the number 11. Let's run the program again, and this time, let's search for the number uh, 23. What a surprise. We found it in position 0. And one more time, let's run the program and look for 49. We did find it in position 4. 
zero, one, two, three, four. One last time, let's run the program and look for a number that we know is not there, such as uh, 99. And the program correctly prints out that you didn't find it. Trace this program carefully. Understand how this for loop is sequentially searching the array from left to right in sequence, positions 0 through 4 from left to right. This is your uh, uh, famous sequential search algorithm.